Proper wheel maintenance and the use of proper tools can help to eliminate dangerous wheel offs. Chicago Pneumatic has developed a series of tools including a final torquing tool to help assist in this process. This video will touch on several of these steps and finish with how to properly use the Blue Torque Nut Runner. This will allow you to achieve the precise final torquing of the lug nuts. Wheel offs and loose wheels are an occurrence that happen every day in our industry. Here are some of the steps you can take to help eliminate these issues. After you have removed the wheel, you must clean and inspect all of the components. Cleaning of all of the mating surfaces helps to eliminate rust, dirt, and debris from these contact surfaces. Cleaning these surfaces using a tool like the Chicago Pneumatic 7202 with a bristle disc does the job nicely. The Chicago Pneumatic stud cleaners used in conjunction with the CP2755 makes cleaning the studs quick and efficient. Once you have cleaned and inspected all components, the wheel, the studs, and the lug nuts, you are ready to reassemble the wheel end. Chicago Pneumatic adheres to all TMC and TIA best practices. Refer to their guidelines when assembling these components. Initial snugging of all of the lug nuts first is an important step in trying to assure the wheel is seated properly. Once you have accomplished this, you are ready to use the Blue Torque Nut Runner for final torquing. The Blue Torque has two motors, a rundown motor and a final torquing motor. It has a valving system in the tool which is preset to the desired foot-pound setting. Once this setting is achieved, the valves open up, air blows out of the tool, and the tool shuts itself off, even though you still have the trigger depressed. Depending on the version you have, some tools come with a forward and reverse feature. When using the tool to final torque the lug nuts, remember the reaction arm will always react in the opposite direction. With the socket turning to the right, the arm reacts against the lug nut to the left of the one you are tightening. Using a star pattern with the blue torque is recommended. Once you feel you have completed the final torquing, it is a good idea to start at the 12 o'clock position and retorque each nut to ensure that none were missed in the process. Chicago Pneumatic has a portable filter, regulator, lubricator, or FRL unit specifically designed for the Blue Torque. It comes in this sturdy orange case to help protect the components. The FRL has an industrial grade filter which removes particulates out of the air and more than 98% of the moisture. There is a check valve at the bottom of the filter which opens every time the trigger on the tool is pressed. The water is carried in this clear tube and drains into the small clear bottle located next to the filter. Simply unscrew the top when the bottle starts to fill and dispose of the water in an EPA friendly manner. The regulator is preset to reduce your shop air to 102 PSI. Once the air passes into the single point lubricator and the 25 foot blue hose, you will get a 12 to 15 PSI drop in pressure. This means it will be about 90 PSI at the end of the hose where the tool is. This is the perfect range for the tool. The specialty blue hose has a small capillary tube that runs down the middle of the hose and is already pre-filled with oil. Unlike mist lubricators, which simply spray oil into the hose, the single point lubricator is preset to inject a half a drop of oil every fifth pull of the trigger on the blue torque. The user can take the FRL and the blue torque to wherever he has a job. This could be in a garage or on a service truck. He simply plugs the compressor hose into one end, the blue hose with the tool in the other, and does his work. He doesn't have to worry about the quality of the air, the PSI at the tool, or remembering to oil the tool regularly. It is as simple as plug and play. For more information, please contact Chicago Pneumatic at 1-800-624-4735.